Hi, today we'll be talking about one of Electro Industries latest development, the SWB3 switchboard case. EIG's team of innovative engineers and designers have come up with one of their most impressive upgrades by taking the existing GE S1 relay case and transforming it. In this video, I will be going over the unique differences between the two cases. So, let's get started. In front of me, I have a Nexus 1272 meter installed in a GES1 relay case. I'm going to demonstrate how difficult it is to remove the cover, the meter from the case, and um, we'll go ahead and show you that in a second. So here we go, we're removing all the screws, and four thumb screws on this case is one, two, three, four. We have to loosen all four in order to get those off. The next step is to loosen the latches on the, in the meter. There's one on the top and the bottom. You'll need a screwdriver in a lot of cases. Sometimes you can release it with your fingers, depending on how strong your hand or fingers are. Then the bottom latch. Uh, before you get to that, there's also the stab in the bottom, which you have to pull out. And sometimes that can be very difficult to get out. In that particular case, it wasn't too difficult. And in order now to pull the meter out of the case, this is a, a tough task. You need a pair of pliers to pull the meter out. So I'll go to that step. And the meter is removed. Note when you're doing this, you have to be very careful. You could damage the meter. If you don't want to grab the face of the meter, you'll remove the cover. So we always try to use a pair of pliers to get that done. Um, so the meter is removed. That's what it takes to remove a meter from a GES1 relay case. As you can see, the case, the guts of the meter is still the same. Uh, what we'll do is with the SWB3 meter, you'll see that they're pretty much identical front and back in inside. The only difficult parts are just removing the meter and putting the meter back in. So we'll attempt to put the meter back in the case. So we lift the meter, line it up and insert. You have to push it in, make sure you get it in nice and snug. Turn the latches in. Take the latch meter in. You'll insert the stab. And now the fun part is to put the cover back on. So you'd have to typically line up all four screws with the cover to secure that. So you overlay the cover, screw in the cover, trying to catch the diagonal screws first, and then make the connection. As you can see, it took a few minutes to get this done. Okay. The next step is we're going to take a look at the SWB3 switchboard case. So we'll place it to the side. And now we have in front of me a Nexus 1272 meter, same model type as the previous one, installed in a SWB3 switchboard case. And I'll demonstrate just how easy it is to remove this from the case and uh, put the cover back on, just like we did with the GE S1 relay case. So the first thing you have to do is press on the bottom, the release button on the latch, and that simply removes the cover. Next step is to pull the meter out the case. So you grab the meter as much as you can, pull the stab out, then the latches. Previously we needed tools to remove that. Just simply release and at this point with one finger. You can remove the case. So as you see, it's much simpler to remove. I'm going to attempt putting this meter back into the case. We'll line it up. Latch. Top and bottom. And reinsert the stab. Okay. Okay. It's secure. The meter is in. And we're ready to place the cover. So I'm going to place Overlay the top, push, and latch. And the meter is secured, ready to be uh, installed, sealed at this point. If you'd like to know more 
Visit electroind.com. Thank you.